Law impacts all of our lives, which is why they say it's too important to be left to lawyers. Our next speaker, far more than your usual lawyer, Brad Smith, who so many of you know, is chief legal officer for Microsoft. He's the company president. He leads an innovation and management portfolio in 55 countries, also serves on the Netflix board and leads a formal national legal diversity initiative. But one of the great inventions at Microsoft that people don't know about, it's proprietary, they haven't shared it, um, is an app that gives you more than 24 hours in a day, and he's clearly using it and not letting anyone else. Um, because in addition to all that, he co-founded Kind, serves as chair of its board. He has applied a rigorously effective framework to public interest advocacy, 20,000 person strong volunteer force, which aims to pursue a vision that Brad laid out uh, just about 10 years ago, that no child should ever have to walk into an American immigration court without a lawyer to advocate for them. I suggested to Brad that to give some remarks tonight, he be flanked by beautiful children who are about to sing two more songs. And he said, sure, that's fine, that's great. So come on up. Well, first, I just want to say, wow, you guys are amazing. And I don't think I've ever stood on a stage flanked by such an amazing group of people wearing such cool shirts. Here I am with my coat and tie. But I want to say thank you on behalf of the whole board of directors and all of us in this room to you for being here. And I certainly want to say thank you to Ari on behalf of our board for being here as well. I want to share just for a couple of minutes a few thoughts with everybody in the room. Because we have seldom had a more important time where it has been so necessary for us to come together. Immigration is raging as a topic of debate across the country. And while people are talking about what needs to be done, the truth is those of you in this room are doing what needs to be done. And you're doing it in some pretty magical ways. Because if I think about what you have accomplished over the last year, it would qualify as a pretty good magic trick in your classroom tomorrow. Because what you all in the audience have done, literally, is turn $1 into $10. During the past year, across the country for kids in need of defense, we have taken for every dollar in federal money a total of seven and a half million dollars. The opportunity to turn that into 75 million dollars of legal services. That's when you add the seven and a half million dollars with the five million dollars that people like you have helped us raise, and more importantly, the $63 million of pro bono legal services that you and your colleagues have donated. It is an amazing accomplishment. It is a magic trick. But it's not just that. You all have helped us double the number of kids that we have served. Last year, we grew by 99% our caseload. We represented 2,388 kids. Kids who had come to the United States and needed a lawyer to stand by their side so they could continue to remain in the United States. Just since November, when there was a little thing that happened in the news, KIND has had 192 training sessions. We have trained over 3,000 new lawyers to join our side and carry this important work forward. And the time is right. Because immigration and refugee policy have never before been so central to the national debate or to defining our politics. Certainly, we all recognize there's plenty of room for debate about how to tackle a complex problem like migration around the world. But equally certain, I believe to everyone in this room is this. We know that a starting point for this conversation should be how we treat kids. 
How do we treat kids who arrive at our border alone in search of protection? It's a conversation that needs to begin with an appreciation of the founding principles, the principles that I think and hope and believe are shared with you all in your classrooms. Principles like fundamental fairness, equality, due process, the right to have someone stand by your side to ensure that your story is told, even at its heart, the word that defines this organization kindness to other people. That's the kind of thing we get to learn from kids every day in the legal work we do. It's the kind of thing we get to experience tonight when we get to hear from all of you on this stage. This year, we also witnessed it in the work that all of you in this audience did. We witnessed the power of good lawyering. Attorneys across the United States joined at airports, to provide not just legal advice, but a helping hand to those who were at risk of being turned away. And we showed that the legal community believes fundamentally that we cannot become a country that rejects people simply because of their religious beliefs or their na national origin. So good lawyering has suspended that policy the federal courts and our judges have stepped out, up to remind us that we are a nation committed to the rule of law. But perhaps most important tonight, you all, you all on this stage are the people who are reminding us of why we do what we do. As you all raise your voices in song and share stories through your words and music, Share with us the kinds of things you've shared with people literally around the world through art and video. I hope all of us in this room will be inspired. I hope we'll be inspired once again to unite the way we need to come together to protect young people. If we all give just a modest amount of our time, our energy, our expertise, a little money would help too, by the way, we will literally save kids' lives. And if we're lucky, and if they're fortunate, one day they may follow in your footsteps. They may go to your school. They may be as talented as you all are in helping remind us all of the national values and most importantly, the people that we are here to serve. Thank you very much.